Today's match is between my buddy Ryan's uh, Time Seal deck and my Go Control deck. This matchup is going to be a fight for tempo. It's time to do, 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 do. So I'm trying out a new format for my videos. Let me know in the comments if there's something I can improve or if you guys like it or you prefer the old one because uh, I'm not really sure. I just want to try something different. And I kind of like the way it came out, but still needs some improvement. Anyway, so Ryan's going first. Starts off with a delinquent duo. Excellent card to start off in the first turn. Very rarely does your opponent have Sinister Serpent, and it can be devastating in other matchups, like against Warrior, for example, on the first turn to be delinquent duoed. Metamorphosis is not the greatest card here. Doesn't look like I have a good monster in my hand anyways. And Ring of Destruction is not going to matter too much because Time Seal plays mostly flip effect monsters and tries to abuse them with Tsukiyomi. Sets one, sets a second back row I believe. Yes. This is good for me, looks like he doesn't have that much monsters to play off of, which is good for the control of the tempo here. Play Heavy Storm off the top. It's two for one, but actually since he changed Time Seal, it's just a uh, one for one because I'm skipping the draw of my next turn. Not as effective as I wish it would be leaving me with uh, the ability to gain tempo on the field here, so I'm going to dig a little bit deeper by using Graceful Charity. My cards will be more effective when I have control of the field, and his will become less effective because a lot of his tempo comes from setting and abusing Tsukiyomi flip effects, and if he's ahead, it forces me to deal with his cards uh, as soon as possible and summoning into his back rows because I need to stop his tempo of flipping because, you know, he delinquent dueled me. If he gets a Magician of Faith off, for example, I just lose the rest of my hand. Very, very, very dangerous. So I end up discarding Metamorphosis and I'm sure I'll pick another card here one day of the year. Discard Nobleman. Sketchy with Nobleman discard because I know he's going to set cards, but it looks like I do have Metamorphosis, so I won't be needing to remove his cards when I can just suck up whatever he sets. At least that's what my plan is, I guess. Now Ryan's deck for a time seal, he's not. I wouldn't be too worried uh, about me setting. Summons Breaker the Magical Warrior, and he gets the effect, and attacks into my Dark Mimic level 1. I draw a card. Like I was saying, I wouldn't be too worried about me just setting one card because I can't draw on the next turn. But I do have Pot of Greed. Drawing what looks like two Dust Shoots. Very unfortunate. Well, I wanted to push for the tempo with the Graceful Chariot, but clearly I'm not getting there with my monsters is very unfortunate because this this match will just come down to whoever can control the field so Ryan draws I set both the cards because I know that he'll use the effect on one um, and I don't uh, I can't use it because he has three cards so he hits a trap dust shoot but I know I can use it on the next turn if he doesn't play cards on top of the fact that I take less damage here so that's okay with me I take 16 to the face, getting beat down by a breaker, feels bad man. Draw for turn, set a back row and pass, this is definitely not looking the greatest. Take another 16 to the face. My dark mimic level 1 was set, uh, assuming that he wouldn't really have any offensive cards, which I, I know he doesn't have that much in his deck, but clearly breaker is all he needs. Sets another monster. I set one. I don't think that it's worth uh, waiting to let it die and try to get something from my graveyard, I believe. So I'll use Metamorphosis here. I'll send my level one card to the grave to summon a Thousand Eyes Restrict. When Metamorphosis resolves, I will attempt to activate my effect to suck up a set monster, trying to halt his flipping cards, because if that's a Mask of Darkness as an example, I'm going to be in a world full of trouble when I keep setting Time Seal. He responds to the summon with Book of Moon. 
fantastic card aggressively or defensively. Nope. I play the old man. I gotta shut that down. This tempo really needs to go through this tempo play here. It could be a Magician of Faith that could really kill me here, or even a Mask of Darkness could put me out of the game. I have to pray that he does not draw Sukiyomi. So I'll use Trap Dashu on his Sukiyomi right there. It's the only card that can really deal with my Thousand Eyes Restrict, so obviously I send that back. Uh, Snatch Seal is kind of worthless in this match. Nobleman, I shouldn't be setting. And Mission of Faith is good on his part, but Thousand Eyes Restrict makes it so that you can't change the positions of monsters on the field. So I won't be too scared of that. It's looking like I might be able to come back here, even though he has some card advantage on me. Draw for turn. Past turn, I remember I saw a Blackluster Soldier in there. Not much uh, in my grave to banish here, so... Graceful Charity. Rip Sinister Serpent right off the top when he played Graceful Charity. Pretty good. Must be nice. So naturally he's going to discard Sinister Serpent. Because it's a free card to discard since he can get it back on the next turn. And Swords of Revealing Light. Which is fair because Thousand Eyes Restrict makes it so only Thousand Eyes Restrict can attack. So it's kind of like a pseudo uh, Swords of Revealing Light on my field. So. Draw for turn. Debating whether I should play a card, I guess. Pass turn. Not looking great for me. The Thousand Eyes Restricts really not pushing the uh, field tempo that I need to help me secure the game. Since uh, his deck has a problem dealing with uh, large monsters or big fields. Right? So he draws. Add Sinister Serpent back. Uh, that's that's free right there. Sets a card. Most likely the Magician of Faith. If I was him, I would try to get that going. Draw for turn. Another another card I can't really play. This is not looking good for me. I'm just kind of waiting until he draws Tsukiyomi to die here. I go ahead and set Magician of Faith. Perhaps it would have been better to do it earlier on, but, uh, you know, I was worried a bit. I think uh, we recall he had no moment of cross out, but maybe I should have made him use it so that he can't draw his own Magician of Faith. Pot agrees into Tsukiyomi, flipping my card down, knocking it off, and there's just no way I can come back here, especially when he's got the Magician of Faith. So he's going to start doing a combos here. Can delinquent duo me if he wanted to. He could use more pot of greeds. Mask of Restrict is zero attack. Or zero defense, sorry. It's definitely definitely game over. So as you can see the the time seal deck is very, very good uh, once it gets ahead of the one like one step ahead of you in the tempo on the field. Because you have to deal with the monsters that forces you into stupid plays that you you, you feel bad but you gotta do. But I hope you guys enjoy this uh, quick match, give you a little insight on the Time Seal deck. Um, and uh, like I said, let me know in the comments below if you like this style of video, you like this format of the video. I'll also be leaving a, a link in the description to Ryan's deck list. Uh, he's got some insights in that, which I ask him a few questions and some tips for players that would like to try the Time Seal deck out. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until the next one, peace. Mission failed. We'll get him next time.